This week's survival weapon dropped yesterday, and I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to get the whistle in the dark. It's a new assault rifle with nocturnal, increased VATS hit chance, and plus one two perception. To start off with, the weapon is amazing to use at night. My character build is for stealth, and I'm able to drop robots with relative ease inside with Togo. The silencer and the nocturnal effect are a good addition to this weapon. Now the challenges for this particular weapon are as follows. Kill a creature with a stealth boy. Destroy a turret while sneaking. Hack a terminal at night. Pick a lock at night. And take a camera picture of a human-like creature at night. Now all of these are able to be done near Morgantown and inside Mama Dolce's. You will need the Pro Snap camera to complete the challenge. I personally took a picture of a ghoul in Morgantown, but you can use any creature out in the waste. This is by far the easiest portion of the challenge. Next, we're on to Mama Dolce's, and I'd recommend going into stealth pretty soon after arriving. In my previous attempt, there were a lot of players fighting here, and that adds risk to the challenge. I realize that this is probably a decent time to do this, as the robots are still here and it is night, so that helps complete the challenge. If it is not night on your server, you can wait 3 minutes or 1 in-game hour in order to progress the time. Now the key card to this bunker is upstairs in office. You will need it to continue. Once inside, you will need to follow the tunnel to the next room where the turrets and the door to the terminal are. I completely forgot to destroy the turret, so they ended up hitting me for quite a little bit of damage. But if you are a low level player, you should be fine either way. Taking them out while crouched is the second portion of the covert operations challenge, and it's definitely easy as they are only level 7. Next, you will need to hack the terminal. Now this terminal is level 1, and there are other terminals inside the game that are level 0. But for the sake of this recording, and as well as completing the challenge in a timely fashion, I decided that level 1 was an acceptable limit. Once finished hacking, you will have completed three of the five challenges for the Covert Operation Survival Challenges. Now up next, we will have to progress a little bit through the bunker in order to complete the lockpicking portion of the challenge. Now this lockpicking portion of the challenge can be done with level zero lockpick, which is what everyone starts out the game with. You will have to kill about four liberators, but if you use stealth, you should only have to kill those four. Now the only thing you actually have to keep track of is the time in game. You want to make sure that you complete this challenge at night. If you need to, you can always server hop and start it over. Up next will be the stealth boy portion of this challenge set. I'm just going to show you where I got mine, which is in Morgantown. Once you actually get to Morgantown, you just have to head to the red rocket and you can follow my path to the stealth boy. The challenge is already complete at this point in my games, you'll actually be able to see a little bit of the Whisper in the Dark in action. I do have several mutations, including Marsupial and Speed Demon, but these will not affect your ability to get to the Stealth Boy. It is completely 100% possible to get to without using Marsupial. All you have to do is run past all the ghouls and get to that building. The building with the green roof is where the Stealth Boy is. Now, like I said earlier, it will not be there because I had just gotten this right a few minutes before, but I failed to record that. So I'm going to show you one of the two ways you can get up to this particular location, and the easiest way is to just use this driveway to jump. You'll head up the fire escape ladder and up onto the roof where you'll find a stash of caps, a dead body, as well as the roof climber's poem. Now I'm not into poetry, so I did not bother to look through it all, but you're welcome to try to read it. Now up next is the stealth boy portion of the gameplay and this is where I actually earn the weapon itself and all you have to do is kill a creature while using the stealth boy and you'll get the whistle in the dark. And while this weapon is great to use at night, it is definitely lacking during the day. This is a good weapon to have if you are doing a nocturnal build or a stealth character but other than that it goes for a good amount of script from the purveyor. This has been Enduring Legion with a weekly weapon walkthrough. Like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Legion out.